Rupert, the director, um, kind of compared it to the, 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 the French underground, the resistance in World War II. And I, I, I kind of like that take on it. I always admired those people because it was, uh, man, you're one step away from death all the time, uh, literally. It's, uh, and they had, uh, you know, people who are different, which is probably the greatest enemy uh, to their plight, um, who, who do anything just to get by. Uh, not necessarily people who are gonna, you know, root you out and and shoot you on the spot, but it's the people that uh, maybe have a little bit to gain by, by uh, turning you in or seeing what they've seen or informing on you. It's a, it's just yeah, it's a dangerous world. He's a he's a cop, and and the the thing that I like about him most of all is he. Not necessarily a straight shooter, but he he's he, he likes law and order. I mean, literally, he likes things must be ordered, things or, or else we have no society. We must have laws, and he's uh, pretty strict about it. Um, uh, he does he doesn't. We're under a terrible. Uh, these are terrible times. He just he doesn't want to give in to panic or uh, or paranoia. He wants things the way they are, but they've got to be, you know, in, in a certain way, and then we can deal with everything else. But you know, let's let's get ourselves straight first. I think it's about what we're willing to put up with uh, for freedom, about what we're willing to sacrifice for our own uh, personal peace of mind, our, our own sense of freedom. More than anything else, Rupert and I discussed the look of the piece, what we thought, um, there's a lot of gray. <laughs> uh, and there's a lot of gray areas in, in our lives in, in, in this. Uh, um, uh, what, you know, what we thought would, it would take to survive. So I can only say for me is that um, I, he'll sketch out what he's going for and then he'll come to me spe with specifics once we get a couple of takes in and uh, try to try to tack it down, nail it down. Uh, and when he's happy with something, then I'll, I'm usually satisfied with it as well. Uh, because uh, yeah, I, I, I trust his judgment. The character of Gabriel is the son of my old partner in um, a Chicago cop. Uh, and I'm trying to keep an eye on him. He and his brother uh, survived their parents. Uh, so, you know, the, as best I can, trying to keep uh, my eye out for them because they're, uh, they're, they are rebellious and they, they could get into a lot of trouble. Um, he's a he's a smart kid. He he wants uh, he wants more. He wants yeah, he wants more out of this life. He's great. He's uh, boy, is he good. He's um, fast, smart, and uh, he's funny. Um, but it's just it's nice to be able to kick back and see what he's going to come up with, and then and just uh, play off of that because he's 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 really got the goods. She's swell. I'll just say that I've always admired her. Um, I could jump off an eight-story building and she would catch me. That's the way it felt. I just, um, anytime, any place, I'd, I'd be happy to work with her because I, I just, uh, we hit it off pretty well. And uh, yeah, I could trust her. She's a. Uh, an ex-school teacher who he knew uh, from before the invasion. Um, he's uh, fallen upon a new way of making a living. Uh, it becomes very uh, important to Mulligan and, and to, uh, to re the resistance as well. Um, 
but yeah, she becomes uh, kind of an information conduit um, and a, a very, very brave person who sacrifices all. Right now, my favorites, it's, it'll change. It always, it always changed. Um, but it was uh, yeah, a little scene I had with Vera. Um, we were kind of saying goodbye to each other and uh, it was, it, felt, it just felt like we'd known each other for years when I'd met her a half an hour before. Um, very comfortable and it's it's one of those things you you go into acting and you, you feel like you, you're doing the right thing. You Okay, I didn't make a mistake. This is all right, I'm doing all right thing. Yeah, she, she's, uh, she's wonderful. Uh, you know what? It's just uh, basic physical, being in Chicago and late winter type of stuff. Uh, um, coming off of another job, but I love Chicago. Uh, the talent here is, 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 the talent pool is deep and enormous. Um, I mean, yeah, the acting here is mighty. What I do is, you know, what would I do in these situations? Um, you know, put, put, maybe take themselves out of their lives for an hour and a half, two hours, and uh, think about it. People of Chicago, for first contact, our political system was broken. Employment is at record levels for this American renaissance. Hey, yo, so if we pull this off today, we're out of here. Hey, cool it. Got eyes on me 24 7. Harmony, peace. It's all bullshit. It's a lie game. They, they gonna take everything. In a few years, they'll strip us to nothing. The way to the closed zone is through Soldier Field. The resistance went to ground. They're not gone. Glory, glory. To prove to everybody out there that the roaches can be beat. You ready? There we go. to make yourself. As long as we fight back, we got a chance. Torawareta Kukka. <laughs>